Hello. Uh, today I am going to show you one one uh, D problem using pattern and strand. And this is what if I am using pattern as a tool, as a pre and post processor, and strand as a solver. So quickly, I am just creating one database here. And quickly, I have a problem definition here. The problem, the problem itself, uh, all the details have been given here. That uh, my cantilever length is 0.5 meter, and my load is 10 to 1000 newton, and my cross section has been given, and my material properties have been given. So simply, I'm just applying all these things here. For so what I need to do is, I need a, I need a curve here, and that length. We can uh, we can choose x y z method and we can create make so this is this is my curve of the length of 0.5 mm uh, meter sorry now what I need to do is I need to go back to properties and I need to create a property here so let us say that material is aluminium and uh, here if we can see material in the Young's model is this GPA 69 GPA is we will convert here in uh, and uh, in meter or something like that. It will become uh, 69. And if we are converting in MPA, it will become around. The, we have to multiply into 10 to the power 3. So it will become 69,000. So as of now, it is my material is fine. Now what I can do is I need to create a beam crop property. So I'm just writing here beam crop as a name notation. And I would be requiring the cross section. So here my cross section is 0 0.1, and here it is 0 0.06. And here my material, whatever aluminium I have defined here, and my cross section. This is for the uh, orientation purpose. And now I'll select my geometry. So my properties will be here. And what I need to do is I need to I need to do a mesh all together and if you can see here all the nodes are here all the elements are here now what I need to do is we need to quickly create a constraint and I need to make my z as a zero rotation as a zero and quickly I'll select my node where I need to fix my structure and quickly I will apply this Force, force, something like that. And here I will apply in this particular node. This will become my load. Now I need to go back to analysis and uh, quickly I'll create one file here that will become cantilever and one additional output I am just simply asking is the element force so that we can we could able to create a shear force and the bending moment diagram for my problem. Now what it has done is it has created one uh, input file for me. I need to solve that file and my folder is here. Now I can select my file and that is good for the solving the problem. So you can see in the background we will have a lot of files and all it has calculated all the stretches sigma x sigma y sigma z and uh, all the displacement has calculated now we can what we can do is we can go back to my binary result and we can select our file here and now it will apply it will plot me all the results if i'll go back to my result we can see here that i have all the uh, axial stresses and uh, now if I change the background color of it and uh, that you can easily see what exactly it is doing. So let's say we can go for maximum combined, uh, uh, what is that, something is wrong here, maybe I can check that, something is wrong here, uh, I don't know how it is behaving, look at the animation. Okay, okay, some problem is here. It should not happen like this because we have applied load here, something is wrong here. Okay, there's no problem. So we can, like this, this is the way we can calculate it. And similar way, we can uh, calculate the deformations. Uh, but I'm 
need to check that why it is happening like that. That I will just check it out. And uh, I will, I'm just once again I am just uh, checking this that why this is happening. Uh, let me go back to my uh, boundary condition where I have applied my constraint. So I'll just check it out here. It will show me that constraint is here. And now I need to check where I have applied the force. So my force is uh, 1000. And location here which is showing correct only. So I need to check why the deflection is happening from the Go back to I'll go back to my cross section. Let us see how that cross section will look like. Okay, my cross section is fine. Here's my cross section of the beam, and everything is okay. Now um, I can switch off this cross section for a time being. I'll go back to analysis. I'll create another file name empty for the one. And, and properties also is find the property, modify the property. What we can do is we can go back to again, we can change the uh, process and also time and create a circular and uh, I have signed the diameter of the radius for it. And I will say, okay, here maybe something is wrong. Once again, I have selected my cross section. Again, I am just creating another file. And also, once again, we will cross check whether we are asking for force. Yes, we have force. We are calculating the same. And now again, I'll go back to next plan. I'll solve this file. And let us see how it is doing and what it is doing. Okay. Once it is done, we can go back to a pattern and again we can access our result. And you can see some problems there. Can, we could see that was any error or something like that. No error, nothing is there. Here we have output file as well. Here is my output file. Now we can see. And again, we can go back to my uh, reflection and we can see. Yeah, now it's perfect. You can see all the reflex, reflection and all stresses, the sign bar stresses for the beam. All these stresses are here. It depends on the unit, what unit you are choosing. And you can uh, all the animations here, and like that, it will work. And additionally, what I am trying to show is I am trying to show the beam forces results. We have uh, beam results. Now I could see my bending force, bending moment, and shear force diagram. So here. So this is my uh, shear force diagram, and here it is shear force and bending moment diagram for my beam. And if we want the value, it will show me also what value we are having it. It will plot everything. Thank you, thank you for watching. Subscribe me. You can uh, click on my bell button so that uh, I can keep you posted on these other back videos. Related to finite elements using pattern, natural, and